So I'm super excited to present to you the One X Player 1S. Now I received this product about a month ago and I've been using it every single day since. And let me tell you right now, I'm absolutely gobsmacked by this product. Now this is the most incredible handheld game console I have ever tested. It's running Windows 10, it's upgradable to Windows 11, it's powered by a Core i7, and it has a massive display and massive battery built in. It's quite large in size, and to give you an idea of the scale, I am gonna bring in the Nintendo Switch OLED. Nintendo Switch OLED is much smaller with a smaller display, and it's much lighter and thinner as well. And here is a quick comparison of the thickness. So yeah, big difference between these handhelds size-wise. Now I also very recently reviewed the Aya Neo Pro 2021 version. And again, so if we just briefly compare all three, so biggest, medium, and smallest. Specifically, One X Player versus Aya Neo Pro. You can see that the thickness is quite similar, quite similar thickness. But of course you're getting a much bigger screen on the new One X player. So that was a very quick side by side between these top handheld consoles. Now the dimensions, 288 millimeters by 130 millimeters by 21 millimeters thickness. And this weighs 819 grams. Now quick look what you get inside the box. So you've got an envelope containing quick start guide, a type C to type C cable, and it is a good quality braided cable and you are getting a Type-C power brick included in the box. All right, so time to check out the buttons and controls. We've got dual joysticks and they are clickable, so L3 and R3. You've got your D-pad, A, B, X, Y. You've got some extra buttons over here, so there's a start button. Um, you've got a keyboard button, so at any point you can press it and a keyboard appears on the screen. You've got a turbo button, and when it's pressed, it highlights itself in this orange color, and when it's off, the turbo button clears. On this side, you have a back button, and this is a home button. Two grills on the side in orange, and they are speaker grills, so that's dual stereo speakers. So you've got analog linear triggers, RB and RT, and on the other side, you've got your LB and LT. Very good quality advanced gaming triggers with precision accuracy. On the top, you do have two air outlets, headphone jack in the middle, Type-C USB 4.0 port, a USB 3 port and another Type-C USB 4.0 port. So you get two of them and both of these ports can data transfer, um, fast charge and also display 4K output. And just above that you can see we have a micro SD card slot. You've got pogo pins at the bottom for the optional keyboard accessory, which I actually did immediately purchase uh, one week into using this device. And here it is. Now not only does it give you a keyboard which attaches magnetically at the back, and you can use the kickstand to get things in a comfortable position. And this basically turns into a laptop with a trackpad as well. So not only does it give you that full QWERTY keyboard with trackpad, but also a screen cover when you're not using this device. So a very useful accessory. Um, I find it very handy. Definitely recommend the keyboard if you're going to be replacing your laptop with the One X player. Now there is another cool optional accessory that you might want to pick up, and that is a hard carry case. So it's a zip up carry case with a handle. Check it out guys. So you can very nicely fit the console and the power brick and charging cable. So you can carry the keyboard with you as well. If you are gonna pick up the One X Player One S, um, it's definitely worth spending a little bit extra and getting that keyboard and travel case to keep it nice and safe and easier to travel with. Now on the back you have a power button with a fingerprint sensor built in. So just one single tap and it immediately unlocks you to the desktop. No need to enter any passwords. Now on the back you can see a small mute button and you've got a volume rocker on the other side. So quick access to your volumes and you can see the Intel stickers on the back for Core i7 and Iris XE. And another great feature, which I just showed you earlier, is the kickstand. Now this kickstand is actually made from metal, so it feels really sturdy, and you have the ability to have it in slightly different positions, depending on what you're doing. Now on the back, you can see we have two air inlets, and on the top, you can see the air outlets. So you will feel that air coming out from the top when the fans are spinning. Now I do want to quickly show you, if you didn't buy the keyboard with this, if you wanted to use this on its own, there are loads of shortcuts you can press to make life easier. 
So just a quick glance, I'll show you. For example, the home button and the keyboard button will activate task manager, or you can press the home button and the turbo button to take screenshots. And there are a whole bunch of other shortcuts that you can play around with. The One X Player One S also has dual vibration support. You have original Japan Alps competition joysticks with built-in auto collaboration and they are clickable as well. Now I forgot to mention that the Type-C ports on the top, the USB 4.0 ports, give you the maximum transfer speeds of 40 gigabits per second. And of course they also support 4K display output and fast charging. Now for cooling, you have dual copper radiators and dual fans with intelligent temperature control, giving you effective cooling and heat dissipation. Now there is actually an option to switch the fans to silent mode in case you want a game whilst in bed. So you can activate night mode by just keeping that mute button pressed for about 1.5 seconds um, and then you will hear that fan go completely silent. And you are looking at an 8.4 inch IPS display with a 2.5K display resolution. That's 2560 by 1600 with 358 pixels per inch and 100% sRGB. The display is super bright and sharp with a nice contrast, massive display for a handheld console and the colors just pop. The display is simply gorgeous. Now this console is running full version of Windows 10 Home and is upgradable to Windows 11. The console is powered by the Intel i7 1195G7 quad core clocked at 2.9 gigahertz and you have 16 gigs of LP DDR4 RAM and one terabyte of NVMe SSD storage. Also, this is powerful enough to run full PC AAA games like GTA V, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Horizon Zero Down with at least 30 frames per second. And here is a quick look at system properties. So you can see the 11th gen Intel Core i7. You can see the clock speeds, 16 gigs of RAM. If we scroll down quickly, you can see that this is running 64-bit version of Windows 10 Home system storage info as well. The one terabyte is partitioned into two drives. So they both have just over 400 gigs of usable space. And you can see how much space is being used and how much is free on both drives. So yes, I have installed a lot of games on the C drive, but I could easily move all of that game data straight to the D drive if I wanted and that would free up space. So one terabyte is gonna be more than enough for most of us, um, but you have the option to stick in a micro SD card if you want to further expand. Now other features to mention, we have built-in Wi-Fi 6, we've got Bluetooth version 5, and you have front firing stereo speakers at the bottom, now the internal battery is quite generous. We have 15,300 milliamp hours, which takes around 90 minutes to fully charge with a 65 watt charger. And the typical battery life for gaming is around four hours, um, depending on what type of game you're playing. And if you're just watching videos, you can achieve around nine to 10 hours. So decent enough battery life. Now let's just jump straight into some gaming action, beginning with GTA 5. So we've got GTA 5 and all the graphics are set to very high and resolution is 1080p. All right, so this is GTA 5, 30 frames per second, full HD, maxed out graphics. Plays pretty good.
Jonah. You can let go. Let's see. Let's get across. Strowman Superplex Big Show, which was amazing. But for me, the most amazing part was that Strowman was actually able to get back to his feet just moments ago. I dreamt of a strange and unjust world. Round one. Fight! So we just tested out a whole bunch of PC games and we also done some game streaming with Google Stadia and PlayStation Now. So now let's move on to some emulation and we're going to begin with PlayStation 2.
They're only victims. But my mom managed to bring survivors together and we all tried to build a place where we could see. So there you have it guys, that was the One X Player 1S. So this is basically a powerful portable PC in your hands. You can play AAA PC games from anywhere you like. You can hook up to a monitor with keyboard and mouse and this becomes a full PC experience. The One X player can easily replace your laptop or even your PC, giving you plenty of power and performance to undertake any task, including general office applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. to CAD designing, programming, web and graphic design, 4K video editing and lots more. The portability aspect makes this product very appealing and I do appreciate the 4K display output via USB Type-C. Gaming experience is actually quite enjoyable, especially on that large 8.4 inch display, even though limited to around 30 frames per second for most big AAA games like GTA V and Cyberpunk, although less demanding games will of course give you the higher frame rate. Now the One X Player 1S handled emulation quite well. I was easily able to emulate PlayStation 2, PSP games, and I even played Switch games without any issues. The joysticks and triggers are basically console quality. They feel incredible, especially with those dual vibration motors. Gaming experience was overall very enjoyable, but do bear in mind the unit weighs around 820 grams. So long gaming sessions can cause strain on your hands, but thankfully you have a kickstand, which makes it very convenient to play with a keyboard or take it to the next level and connect to a large display and enjoy all your games and emulation on the big screen. Now, if your monitor does not have a U USB-C display connection, then you can use a USB-C hub which has an HDMI port and then you'll be able to connect to any display you like. Now battery life is as expected for most gaming laptops. So you're looking at around four hours of light gaming, two hours of heavy AAA gaming, activating the turbo mode by pressing the turbo button will give you around 1.5 hours of turbo gaming. Now if you're just watching videos, you can expect around nine to 10 hours of battery life. So battery life is good considering how powerful this console is with the power hungry 2.5K display and powerful Core i7 performance. Fortunately, you do get fast charging. So 90 minutes for a full charge with a 65 watt charger makes the battery life less of an issue. Now I do like using this docked on my desk attached to my 4K monitor and using my wireless keyboard and mouse giving me a full PC experience. So essentially the One X Player 1S is one device for work, multimedia and gaming. This one does it all. So no doubt it's expensive, but you get what you pay for. Absolutely love everything about this console. Nothing compares to this. It's the best Windows handheld gaming console I have tested so far. The internal dual stereo speakers are also impressive quality, almost gives a virtual surround sound effect. Now you're getting full version of Windows 10 activated and ready to use and this will be upgradable to Windows 11 when the update becomes available. Now to sum this one up, the One X Player 1S is an absolute treat. This is the product that most people out there are going to want to get their hands on but the high price tag puts it slightly out of reach. Now on the other hand, if money is not an issue, then I would grab this device with my eyes closed. The design, build and aesthetics has been so well thought out with incredible controls, buttons and ergonomics. The consumer just gets the very best user experience throughout, no matter what you do on it. Now, let me know what you guys think. Meanwhile, links will be in the description box below. I will also try my best to haggle for some coupon codes for you guys. And if I succeed, I will share them in the description box below. I hope you found this one useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.